All right, guys, God bless you. Welcome to this. Event. Victory in Christ. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. The Bible says, cleanse your hearts, you double-minded. I'm just going to state up front, you are in a twin system. There's a good you and there's a bad you. There's a right side up you and upside down you. That's because the host body system is duplicitous. Now, I'm going to show you in this video today, some. I'm going to show you absolutely, completely impossible. Guaranteed. Guarantee it. But all things are possible with God. But what you're going to see is impossible. I guarantee it. Okay. Let me show you something. I'm going to start right here. Yeah, well, y'all remember... Um, Y'all remember the last couple of days I've been showing you uh, the manifestation of the other race of beings that's taking over the host body system. It's a demonic race. It's Satan through the host body system, and he's taking over people like you know, like Little Wayne, uh, Little Naz. Uh, he's taking over the hearts and the minds of society right now. Let me give an example. Experts provide tools to raise woke children, in antichrist anti-racist baby drag queens. So this is experts provide tools to raise woke children. Their tools to raise woke children is this. This is the headlines. Anti-racist baby drag queens. So these are the tools to raise your children right now, right here on your screen. Now I showed you, he's making a V and he's, and look at the, look at the two uh, uh, pinky finger and the finger next to it. This is very purposeful to make a V here and a V here and on this hand is the star of Lucifer representing the twin system the V and the V and that you know um, his purpose Jesus's purpose was to make one new man from the two putting them together that guy's over there doing this with the star of Lucifer on one hand so it's very easy the Lord's taught me how to read their language uh, how to see the outward manifestation of the spirit that's working through them. It's a spiritual gift. And so let me just show you right now what is 100% impossible. Okay, you guys want to just freak out? So the mysteries of the Bible are unfolding daily here. And um, I'm going to deliver them to you. Okay, here we go. Let me, uh, let's start here. Now, I'm going to start with this clip from a movie called Goodwill Hunting, and the guy's name is supposed to be Will Hunting, but I can assure you the real cryptic meaning of this whole movie is they are hunting good will. See, because when Christ was born, it says good will towards men. They are literally hunting good within the host body system. You know, all the hunted for dinner and all the stuff I show you in clothing lines. Just like I showed you with Little Naz, I showed you what was impossible. What I'm going to show you tonight is more impossible. It makes the Little Naz stuff look like nothing. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. I want you to listen very cl closely to the dialogue. I'll play the whole clip. Then, Okay, let me, let me tell you the procedure we're going to do. That, that way I don't kind of jump around too much. I'm going to play the entire clip, and then I'm going to stop it. Then I'm going to go back to the beginning. Then I'm going to comment on the clip and show you what you didn't see. Or I'm going to show you what the Lord's allowed me to see, and I'm going to share it with you. Okay? And everything you're going to see is biblical. I'm going to show you just biblical, hidden within all these clips, because these movies are done by a spirit, a spirit working through humanity, no different than the bombing of the Twin Towers printed on the U.S. currency. It wasn't a bunch of people getting together, having meetings like, hey, let's do this and let's make this tower look like this and let's make the bill look like this. No, no, no. It was a, it's a hive. It's a hive system. And the angel of the bottomless pit is running the host body system. The serpent is running the system. Even though the Lord God is over and above it, the what you call the flesh, that is Satan's that that's his medium let's say okay now watch here we go let's watch this okay here we go we'll watch the whole clip and then i'll go back and comment on it 
I was gonna, we was gonna close the deal, but then check, uh, Billy insulted one of them, and the heavy set girl said that I had a receding hairline and I was a few pounds overweight, and I was like, go fuck yourself. I swallowed a bug. <laughs> You're an idiot. What? You're an idiot. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me, but I'm tired now and I have to go home, and I couldn't sit there anymore waiting for you. I'm well. Skylar. Skylar. Oh, and by the way, that guy over there, Michael Bolton clone, <laughs> wasn't singing with us, so to speak. Uh, yeah, no, I kind of got that impression. Good. Okay. Well, I've got to go. Got to get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. No, I didn't mean you. I... Oh, that's all right. There's my number. So maybe we can go out for coffee sometime. All right, yeah. I mean, maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of caramels. What do you mean? When you think about it, it's as arbitrary as drinking coffee. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, right then. <laughs> Yo! Hey! There goes them fucking bodies right now. Hey, wait, hold Ski on. and trip. Hold on. Should've beat that old bitch's ass. Do you like apples? Yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pause it. Now, for those of y'all that have seen this movie and the scene before that, he was in the bar and that guy was trying, the, the guy that's inside the diner right there, he was trying to act all cool and cocky like he was very well educated. So Will walks up to him and just schools him in front of the girl and embarrasses him because he's trying to embarrass his friend. Okay. Now, I told you what this whole earth is about. The greatest illusion ever, the greatest illusion the, is what you're looking at on this cover. You see male, you see female legs, and then you see male legs. One's upside down, one's right side up. It says the ultimate book of optical illusions because that's the greatest optical illusion ever. If it's the whole world, it's hard to see that the whole thing's an illusion. Because when you're in it, there's no way to see it. It's an illusion. When you've been set free of it and you're set away from it, you can look at it for what it really is, as the Lord's allowed me to do. So let me let me sh let me share with you. And we're going to go through uh, several clips, and we're going to just be hitting the Bible back and forth. Watch. Okay, so let's go back here. When she walks up to him, and here we go. I'm going to pause it there because that's very intentional as well. The guy goes, go, his narr the, the narrative right there is, he's talking about some girl thing, but he says, go F yourself because that's basically what happened to us. We did, we to us as angels, we are angels that got carried away captive into their system because the lure of strange flesh. Jude, uh, the, the book of Jude, and angels that went after strange flesh and abandoned their own abode, I have kept in everlasting chains of darkness. Everlasting chains of darkness translates exactly as forward and backwards ligaments of the body. That's what the double-headed phoenix is all about. Male and female energies, opposite directions. Watch. I swallowed a bug. I swallowed a bug. What's the end of the road at the end of the world? What comes out of the pit? Locust bugs. Just, just keep watching. You're an idiot. What? You're an idiot. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. But I'm tired now and I have to go home. And I couldn't sit there anymore waiting for you. Well, I'm well. Skylar. Skylar. Oh, and by the way, that guy over there, Michael Bolton clone. 
She says that guy over there that was in the previous scene, Michael Bolton clone. I'll show you what that means in just a minute. What is singing with us, so to speak? Uh, yeah, no, I kind of got that impression. Good. Okay. Well, I've got to go. Got to get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. No, I didn't mean you. I... Oh, that's all right. There's my number. So maybe we can go out for coffee sometime. All right, yeah. Maybe we could just get together and eat a bunch of caramels. What do you mean? When you think about it, it's as arbitrary as drinking coffee. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, right then. <laughs> Don't know if you noticed, but as soon as she turns around, she giggles and walks out because she's seducing him. He is being seduced. Okay, now let me show you the way it, this rolls out because. The guy that had the long blonde hair that was in the previous scene, now he leaves the bar and that same guy that she's talking about, the Michael Bolton clone, he's in the diner. And then Will goes up and says, hey, do you like apples? Y'all know what an apple refers to, right? In uh, the Bible, uh, which is absolutely absurd, it refers to the forbidden fruit, the bite out of the apple. So he goes up to the window and he says, do you, hey, do you like apples? Because that's the guy that was being rude in the bar. And then he, he slams the girl's phone number up on the window and he goes, I got her number. How do you like them apples? Because that guy was trying to get her number in the bar, the Michael Bolton, Bolton clone. Watch. Hey, fucking Look at those them fucking bodies right now. Hey, wait, hold Ski on. and trip. Hold on. Should've beat that old bitch's ass. Do you like apples? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got her number. How do you like them apples? So like, you know, if you, you were trying to pick her up. Now, here we go. Her name's Skylar. Skylar, oops, sorry. Skylar means eternal life, strength, love, and beauty. That's the girl's name. Okay, now, see, he puts it up, 555-1294. I also want you to look very carefully at it. Look at the number two, five, 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 one, two, nine, four. You see that two? That is, is as much as you could make it a two, but also it's enough to make it a seven, one when you turn it upside down. See the seven, one? That is not a two, but it has to be a two because there's no other number that has that configuration right side up other than a two. That's a two. Five, 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 one, two, nine, four. But the seven, when you turn this number upside down, that is obviously written incorrectly, it is a seven, one. Let me show you what is going on. It's a reference to, oh, I'm sorry. It's a reference to the fall and the angels that were led away captive and underneath, uh, underneath this picture in my show notes, I put 555-1294. Five, 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 one, Let's see. Yeah, 1294. And then I'll show you what 7 one is. 555-strength. Five, 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 because remember, this is between two different races. And he's been led away captive. And we got led away captive when we got caught in a system and we were perverted, turned around. Watch. Here we go. Five, five, five means strength. Stronger than the other. That's what it means. Strength. And when you look at the expanded version, it means stronger than. There it is. Stronger right there. It means stronger because the other race is saying they're stronger than God's angels. And then one, two, nine, four means I pervert corrupt, oppose, distort. And when you break down the world, it's dia strefo, dia, through thoroughly. 
Rem now remember what is what is little Naz? One drop of blood in the shoes, representing that that one drop of blood from the garden that impregnated Eve from the serpent race has thoroughly penetrated the entire system. Watch. Through thoroughly, which intensifies strepho to turn, properly turned through thoroughly into a new shape, which is distorted, twisted, perverted opposite from what it should be corrupted ready twisted in two okay now remember we're in a twin duplicitous system okay now let's go look up the number seven one i lead away i lead away bring a person or an animal to lead to carry away to take away, lead away, captive. If you've ever watched this movie, at the end of the movie, he is led away by the girl, away from his friends, and away from the guys he loves. Okay, now watch. Here's the end of the movie, where he had the guy, his buddies are looking for him. Here's the end of it. Well, let's see, it's buffering. Let's see if I can get this to play. Hang on one second. Okay, so this is the end scene, and he's going to leave. And he, he went and left a note on Robin Williams' mailbox, and he drives off. Robin Williams goes outside. His, his buddies are looking, his buddies in the, on the back scene, they're going to see where is he. He's already gone. He's left. They, they can't find him. They're looking in his place. Don't know where he is. So he's left his buddies. And now Robin Williams goes outside and he opens the door. And there's a note. John, if the professor calls about that job, just tell <laughs> Sean, if the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Well. Okay, Sean. Robin Williams opens the door. First thing I want you to look at is the mailbox. See the number three? You see it all the time. The number three of the letter C. What is it? Angel of the bottomless pit. Yeah. Now that I've alerted you to it, you're going to see it all the time. It is the way they identify the angel of the bottomless pit. See the number three? Here's Robin Williams. You see right here on the mailbox, doesn't it look like it says man, M-A-N, right here? But there's an X right here. Because in this system, the sign of our destruction is 2X, the double female chromosome having taken over the energy that's taken over the system. Now watch. If the professor calls about that job, just tell him. Sean, if the professor calls about the job, just tell him. Now I want you to look at the piece of paper. Look at the piece of paper. This was pulled out of a notepad right up here on the top. See it right here? So it was pulled out of a notepad. And it was written on, the paper's been folded in half. Let me show you something. I wrote, is this the way to write a note? Would you write a note like this to where then you grab the paper and then you open it up like this? I wrote, no, it's not. For those of y'all that know me, you see the little word down there in the corner, nylon? If you turn that upside down and backwards, what's nylon become? No lion, right? Nylon becomes no lion. So 
is this the way to write a note? And you open it up, and I wrote, no, it's not. Because look at, that makes this writing upside down and this writing right side up, which is exactly what I've been telling you the whole system is. Because in Genesis 3, the forbidden fruit, when it says, neither shall you touch it lest you die, the word touch means to lie with a woman. And angels have free will. And if they wanted to go into a system and take on host bodies and lie with a woman, then you are subject to eternal death. That is the forbidden fruit. You can't do it. Why do you think he went up and showed the guy, hey, do you like apples? Well, how do you like them apples? I got her number. 555. Five, five. Don't forget, it's her number. Stronger than, and then whatever the other number was, here, let me, let me, I want to make sure I don't, sorry, I had to go see that. Hang on one sec, 555, five, five, stronger than, and then to pervert, to corrupt, to oppose the opposite, twisted into two, corrupt. What happened to his note? How come he didn't just write a note? and maybe fold it over. If you write a note, you write it out on a piece of paper, then you fold it over. You don't write a note like this. I mean, does that make any sense? But it fits the paradigm because now he's been corrupted into two different things. And they put, and on the note, he writes will because we all have free will. And that's what they're hunting. They're hunting good will. That Satan and his demons. That's what they hunt in the system. Twisted into two. Watch. Hang on one sec. That job. Just tell him. Sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Well. Okay, now pay very close attention. Bitch, he stole my life. Okay, that's a five pointed star. How many times have I shown you that angels represent a five pointed star that's right side up? The enemy represents a five pointed star that's upside down. See the 259 on the door? See that 259 right there on the door? Read it for yourself. A taking, capture, to capture, to take, to be taken, conquered. That's funny because all the stuff I've been showing you in Little Nas and all these other things, just like here's the Little Nas thing and like YG the rapper, remember they have that clothing line called 400 and I showed you the hunted really is hunted four and then you spell hunted hunted backwards and it's d-i-n-n-u-h hunted for dinner right side up and upside down forward and backwards oh you mean like the note that he opened up because he decided to exercise his will and go for the girl that seduced him it's not even possible what i'm showing you Hunted for dinner. Let me prove this out a little further. Remember, what do, what do the shoes say? Lost angels. F you on one tongue because it's the tongue. Pay me. That's Lucifer saying, I gave you your host body. F you now pay me. What about 20? Let's see. Oh, by the way, in the Bible, the number 400 in the Bible, it means food. It means pray. Even the number 400, not just not just his logo that says for hunted, which is hunted for dinner, even the number 400400 in the Bible means prey and food. That's not even remotely possible. I mean, not in a million years remotely possible. But yet here you are seeing it. I'm showing it to you 
Ochel in the Bible. Now, let me show you one more that's just associated with 400. Here's a 400 red, red and cream. Now listen, I'm sorry, but I just am going to speak plainly because the this is a perverted race. When I show you the stuff that I'm showing you, a lot of it's perverted because it's them. I'm merely exposing their perversion. A lot of people are like, Clack, that's you know, your stuff you're showing is all these penises and vaginas. Yeah, I know I didn't make the altar, neither did I draw their artwork. I'm simply showing you what you can see. You're welcome. Some people get offended by it. I saw this laying on the ground today and I looked down and I saw it. You see it's Niagara purified. You see the G? Do you see that the inside the G, the blue is a darker blue and look at underneath the G. You see the drop? Purified. You see the the word purified right by that drop? You know what it's referring to? Semen purifying the race because it's upside down. You want me to prove it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G is the seventh letter of the alphabet. Watch. I'm going to go to the Bible and I'm going to show you what word is the number seven in the Bible. Seven in the Bible is to lead away, carry away, take, no, I'm sorry, wait, no, 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 it's, it should be destruction, here you go, I was like, wait a minute, that's not right, that's 71, here we go, watch, it's destruction, to perish, to destroy, there you go, watch, to destroy, destroy, perish, That G represents one race, and what's upside down is destroyed. Welcome to the real world. Let's just keep watching this. Just watch. 1964. Okay, okay. this is the, the clothing line 400. You're looking right here. 400 red and cream long sleeve. So think of it as a war between sperms. The sperm from the serpent and the sperm from Adam. The seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman from Adam's race. The serpent race and the Adamic race. The sperm from the serpent race is taking over the whole host body system through all the breeding on the planet. That's what the whole planet's about. That's the whole thing. That's the whole story. I'll prove it over and over and over. Now watch. 19. 19 in the Bible. Let's look it up. Y'all should know 19 because they use it all the time. 19. Like on their shh. Remember the shh. S-H-H-H, -H -H, slaughter Jesus. 19 means slaughter. I wonder what 64 means. Don't forget, what's the name of the clothing line? Hunted for dinner, 400. So, 1964, there's no way. Okay, do you know how many words are in the Bible? Do you know how many tens of thousands of words are in the Bible, different words? There's no way that this number, 19, slaughter, could have anything to do with what we're talking about. The odds of that are just impossible. Let's look at the number 64. In the Bible. To catch by hunting. Oh, you mean like goodwill hunting. To catch, to take by hunting. I capture, I... Wow, that's weird. That seems like there's a pattern going on here. <laughs> Have you noticed? Just stop. Goodwill hunting. You think someone's name is Will Hunting? 
No, it's them making fun of us like, oh, isn't that funny? We're hunting, they're good. So we're the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's a set of twins. Twins, good and evil. Cain and Abel. Cainable. See, Cain murdered Abel. Cain murdered Abel. Cainable. Cain killed Abel. You're looking at it on a shirt. 1964. Again, the Lord God himself revealed all this to me, all of it, all glory to Jesus. Watch, just keep watching. We're just getting started, by the way. Just keep, keep watching. Okay, so the number 64 just happens to mean I catch, I capture, I take by hunting. And that's from a shirt from a, a clothing line called 400, 400. And I showed you the cryptic meaning of 400 is really hunted for dinner. And 1964, 19 means slaughter, and 64 means to take by hunting. And the shoes from the same clothing line are lost angels because we're angels that got carried away captive. And in the movie Goodwill Hunting, which has nothing to do with the clothing line 400, uh, the girl, her phone number, it's stronger strength, and it means I pervert and corrupt and distort. And then 71, to lead away, to take away, carry away. Really? And then he goes and he says goodbye to the professor. And he gives him, he gives him the, uh, the note that's opened right side up and upside down which is everything I've been telling you. That's the key to the kingdom of heaven to understand it. And let me show you right now so you understand it. Jesus told Peter in Matthew 16 that he, I will call you Petros. His name was Simon, son of Jonah. He says, I'll call you Petros, which means little rock. And then he says, and upon this rock, Petra, I will build my church. And the word Petra means mass of rock because Jesus is the foundation. He was crucified right side up. And then Peter was crucified upside down. Just like their little note. So if that's Jesus crucified right side up, and then you turn that up, just like in the note from Goodwill Hunting, then it becomes the exact system that we're caught in. It's just not even possible. That's the key to the kingdom of heaven, knowing this. So, 259, what does 259 mean again? To be taken, to be captured, to taking, to capture, capturing. <laughs> That's funny. We're talking about goodwill hunting. And then over here, this is a clothing line that has nothing to do with goodwill hunting. And then I showed you the exact same thing thing is true with little Naz and his tennis shoes and his entire video. It's all the same. I told you Michael Bol Bolton, she was making a fun of, of him. Michael means who is like God. And then Bolton means dwelling in, in, an, in an enclosure. See right there? I told you, remember what she says? over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me but i'm tired now and i have to go home and i couldn't sit there anymore waiting for you well i'm well skylar skylar oh and by the way that guy over there michael bolton clone <laughs> wasn't singing that guy over there michael bolton clone who is like god dwelling in an enclosure because they know they got god's angels trapped in an enclosure, goodwill, and she's hunting him. She's seducing him. That's why when he leaves his buddies and everybody, and he leaves the note, the note becomes writing that's right side up and upside down. See, now it's upside down because it's been opened. Told you. <laughs> Just wait. There's more. Uh, you guys remember the thing about Lilith? Okay, I'm, I'm, I want to show you something about the folded thing. 
in Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology, if you know anything about Jewish mysticism and, you know, Madonna and that whole crew, crew in Hollywood that worship the devil and they, they, they are really into the Kabbalah, you know, Jewish mysticism. Lilith is considered Adam's original wife. Like, who did Adam fornicate with? Everyone in Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology says it's Lilith. And Lilith is referred to in Isaiah 34. I, yeah, Isaiah 34. But let me show you something first, because in 2 Corinthians 11, 3, but I fear less by any means as the serpent. Let me show you what the ser word serpent is so you understand. Through the idea of sharpness of vision. That's what, when you talk about the serpent, it means the word is ophis, which is an, a word you hear a lot when you're speaking about ancient Egypt, ophis. Through the idea of sharpness of vision as a sly type, cunning, artful, malicious person, especially Satan, the serpent. That's what it says. And the serpent beguiled su to seduce. What's Schuyler doing to Will Hunting? Denoting union. Okay, beguiled Eve and his subtlety, which means a trickery, so that your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Let me show you simplicity. Singleness without dissimulation or self-seeking. Let me show you the root of the word. Properly folded together, that is single. Okay, if it's like that, now watch closely. If it's like that, if it's folded together, the two just became one. They're the same folded together. But when they're unfolded, they're opposites because you open the door to go for it. Do not take the bait. Remember Madonna when she's going, she has her finger like this. She has an M on her finger. The W, when you turn it upside down, was it become an M? She knows all this. This is Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology just being busted. So the simplicity that is in Christ literally means two that have become one. Both eyes are up, not one eye up and one eye down. Your eyes have become single. That's why the Bible says if your eye be single, your whole body is full of light. Okay? Now watch this. Ready? Time to freak out. Let's go to Isaiah 34. 14. And the wild beasts of the desert... A desert dweller, uh, for those of y'all that have seen the stuff I've shown you on the, the the Hoover Dam, there's a plaque at the Hoover Dam that says they died so the desert could bloom and the guy's doing his arms like this and there's a guy dead in the water doing the Egyptian pantheon of gods, Nut, which is the system you're in. That's the system, Nut, where the female is over the whole thing, upside down, face to face to the male, and there's the soul of the dead male on the ground. That's the system. That's the, the serpent system. The wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island. These are not, these are not animals. It's, these, are, these, these are the different races here. Through the idea of a doleful sound, howler, that is a solitary creature. Alas, woe, like woe is me. That's, it means alas, like woe is me. Okay. And the satyr shall cry to his fellows. Look at the word satyr. A he-goat. Devil. The satyr shall cry to his fellow, his, his friend. It means his buddy, his associate. And the screech owl shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest. In the host by system, look at the word screech owl. Lilith. See it? Lilith. A night specter. You ready? Properly a twist 
away from the light that is night, figuratively adversity, to fold back. Just like Jesus and Peter, to fold back. Just like they did in Goodwill Hunting. Do you understand what y'all are looking at? I I hope you understand what you're looking at. You are looking at mysteries beyond the human mind right now. If you if you really understand what I am showing you, I literally took a movie called Goodwill Hunting and tied everything to the Bible. Everything. Not I, the Lord allowed me to. Why do you think people are drawing pictures of me with a dead sheep behind my ear? Because they're hunting me. Why do you think I have another one right here that's the same thing with the dead sheep on top of my head with its tongue sticking out? And then a goat on the back of my head. You see the horns and the closed eyes and the two ears and the hoof. He made my, my sideburn, a sheep and a goat. You know, the Bible says I'll judge between one sheep and another, separating the sheep from the goats, right? How is it someone drew a picture of me with a dead sheep and a goat with its eyes closed and a serpent eating me? That's the system. Goodwill hunting. People used to always take advantage of my good nature in a horrible way many times, many, many, many times in my life. And that's what they hunt, to fold back. Now, if that's not enough to blow your mind, let me show you something else. Let's see. Who knows Pink Floyd? So you think you can tell. Let's see. Now, I don't want to get a codec violation, but for those of y'all that know the song, I'll do it. Maybe just very, by the way, I have a severely broken finger, but I think. So. That song? Y'all know that song? That's Pink Floyd. I wish you were here. So you think you can tell. Let's look at the lyrics. So, so you think you can tell. Heaven from hell. Blue skies from pain. A smile from a veil, from a cold, a, a cold steel rail, from a cold steel rail, a smile from a veil. I used to be just so like blown away by Pink Floyd back in my freshman year of college. I used to listen to it all the time because it just, there was something about it that just, it, I knew it was true, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. I was like, so you think you can tell heaven from hell. Hmm. Let me show you what the Lord just showed me today and how simple it really is. So you think you can tell up from down. Heaven is up. Hell is down. Huh? Well, we're being hunted, aren't we? Yeah. A smile from a veil. So you think you can tell a smile from a veil. So as she's smiling at you, but this is what's really looking at you. A smile from a veil. Huh. A green field from a cold steel rail. Can you tell a green field? Can you tell a green field? from a cold steel rail.
So You Think You Can Tell, huh? Let me show you the album cover for that so you know what it is. Do you think you can tell? That's one race burning up the energy of the other race. And they're mocking the crap out of you. Satan's just mocking this. So, oh, so you think you can tell. Heaven from hell. A smile from a veil. I used to remember I had this girl named girlfriend named Stacy Schaefer. She was just mind-blowingly beautiful. Her face was just... She had these green eyes, and she's just... She was a head cheerleader in our high school. I was a... 17 year old freshman in college I would have been a senior actually but I skipped my senior year I graduated in three years and Stacy was still there so she was a senior but I went off to college anyway but she had the most incredibly beautiful face I mean her face was just like you know like face that launched a thousand ships and I mean her eyes and her smile were just like I mean they were purely hypnotic like totally like ugh. this girl looked you in the face and smiled at you i mean it was almost hard to look at her because it was just like wow so you think you can tell a smile from a veil it's all veiled you think you're looking at something and what you think you're looking at is not real so you think you can tell because it's another race of beings just burning us up burning your energy burning us let me see if this thing works right here i got a really good thing let's see if it works no it's not going to work it's a gif and he just starts burning so anyway so does does roger waters know what he's does roger waters know this i don't think so say satan's just satan owns roger waters so his lyrics come from a source. His music comes from a source. And that source is operating through him. And it's just mocking the crap out of us. Do you think you can tell? Heaven from hell, up from down. Most, most people don't even know. That's what the whole Bible's about is up and down. You want me to prove it? I'll prove it. Watch this. Ready? I'll prove the whole Bible's about that and conversion. You got to get converted. Converted from what? Revelation 22, I believe. And he showed me a pure river of water of life as clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. There shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Ready? So there shall be no more curse. No more curse. Kata. See, kata. Anathema. An imprecation curse. You know what kata anathema means? Kata means down. In position, down. There shall be no more down excommunicated, accursed. Do y'all know what excommunicated means? Exiles, kicked out, down. Told y'all. There shall be no more of that. There shall only be that. The same both ways. No more of that. That's why Peter was crucified upside down. Jesus told Peter, I'll give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. I, do you all understand what I just showed you? in goodwill hunting. Did you know the Bible says and when Jesus came into the into the system to the earth goodwill towards men. Goodwill towards men. Goodwill hunting. You really think there's they made a movie called Goodwill Hunting like his name's hunting? 
so stupid. No, the whole movie is, you know, it's an entertaining movie, but the real spiritual significance of the entire movie is making fun of an angel that had everything and he comes into the system and then because of a girl, he leaves behind those his friends that he loves and what he used to do and he goes in search of this, you know, to take a chance with this girl, Skylar, which means eternal life. Because what do you think Skylar and the other side does? Do you think they have, do you think they have eternal life? That's what they're busy taking is all the angels' eternal lives. That's their job. Can't argue with this. I mean, I'm so blown away. I don't even know what to say sometimes. Let's take a look at a few things. Let me show you a few girls here. Why would these girls have a skull tattooed over their hands and why do they always do this three-finger thing? I showed you Parthenogenesis, raptor. Remember the reptilian race, this raptor thing going on? Remember I've shown you the, all this raptor stuff and how it relates to the or the, the beginning of the world and the, there was a, the, the dinosaurs. All of it is explained by the Bible. All of it. Parthenogenesis, a reptilian race that began the whole system that be that began the whole thing the serpent system and you're in it y'all ready now take everything i've told you and remember death neither shall you touch it lest you die let me show you the scripture i always come with the word of god always Always. The word of God is the only thing that's true. And the serpent was more subtle. Remember? Cunning, usually in a bad sense. Subtle than any of the beasts of the field which the Lord God had made. Who made the serpent? The Lord God. And the Lord God knows what the forbidden fruit is. And he knows that the angels that conspired to do it to say, hey, let's let's make the host body system and let's do it. God created Lucifer. And you can choose to serve the Lord God or you can choose to serve the other source and self-serve and get the forbidden fruit and what you desire, what you covet. But the price is eternal death. So here we go. And the Lord God made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, You shall not eat of the tree of the garden. So the serpent said to the woman, Is it true? The Lord God said, You shall not eat of the tree. And But the fruit and the tree which is in the midst of the garden, he, you shall, he said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it. See right here, touch. To lie with a woman. Figuratively, to arrive, acquire, to strike, punish, defeat, destroy, touch, lie with the woman. You know, like Aerosmith. Why do they name their band Aerosmith? Arrow, you know, like of the sky smith. You know, like a blacksmith that forges shoes for horses and stuff like that. Aerosmith. It started with a little kiss like this. Da -da 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 Why would you call a band Rolling Stones with a tongue sticking out? Well, the Bible says we're all being built up as living stones, lithos, into a holy temple for God to occupy. So if you have a stone and you roll it over, you get it? This resolves the world, everything. What I'm showing you resolves the entire world. If you know the key to the kingdom of heaven is that Jesus was crucified right side up and Peter was crucified upside down and in order to fix it, in order to fix this, you have to go like this and turn the other one the other direction and you'll see it even says it right here in the Bible, 
first second corinthians 11 the singleness in christ it means folded into one not two folded into one told you told you his purpose was to make one new man from the two this is so mind blowing i don't even know what to say it's so mind blowing what we're looking at now you ready Take everything that the Lord's let me teach you and listen and read the lyrics and pay very special attention when the two black girls are going like this and look at them as twins, the two black girls. And then look at that as Parthenogenesis 2X and then look at the girl in the middle as Eve and that's the system and then the two girls going like this scorpion stingers and read all the words and watch very carefully and make sure you remember this oh death where is thy sting and watch the very last words of this song pay super close attention okay <laughs> here we go Black, black widow is sitting in the middle of the web. It's the fly she seeks. Boom. You may be her lover, but you never will recover because she ain't had a fight for weeks. Boom. You think you're the same because you got the same name, but the widow has a mobile home. Remember what I told you? She got eight arms to hold you, and she's never going to let you roam. She check you in the bed and truck on your head, then she'll wrap you as a midnight snack. So if you see a spider, don't you sidle up beside her Why'd you think the widow's wearing black? Yo! Queen Bee, baby Pray that you may be left on your own ah, Now that you give you, gonna outlive you ah, ah, ah. But the Queen Bee's never gonna be alone Virgin Queen Elizabeth the Virgin just to try and have a cheek. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. What a thrill. I want to shake your hand, man. I mean, I love what you do. Where are you playing? You playing in town? Where are you playing now? Hey, man, I wouldn't do anything to bug you. The pyramids were shaken from the piece that she was making, but she ended with a stupid ass. Hey, buy a beer? The Queen Bee knows where. Oh, man, I'm going to downstairs. Just to go think. I'll sit back over here. Who are they? Who are they? I'm a fast person. 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 I'm a fast
gonna give that eleven man a sting. Did y'all pay very close attention to the lyrics? They think that we're the weak, weaker race. Uh, let's go through that real quick. Let's just take a look at that real quick. I think it's super important. If you guys see this, you're gonna open a door in your mind that'll never shut. Home. Remember what not only does the eight arms refer to the number of arms on a black widow, but eight is the number of the star of Lucifer. She'll wrap you as a midnight snack. X. Just like Dos Equis, Dos Equis beer, the guy's always with two girls, two X. That's them. That's who they are. Two X. So if you see a spider, go to saddle up beside her. Why'd you think the widow's wearing black? Yo! Queen B, baby. Pray that you may. There's your little scorpion sting. Here they go. Watch. Stupid ass. Hey, buy a beer? The queen leads the way. I'm going to pause it right here. Now listen to the lyrics as they have him coming down the stairs and falling down. Here he goes. He's going down. Now watch. Pray that you may be left on, the own, left on your own. Even though they think they're kings. Go downstairs. Who are they fooling playing at ruling? It's the queen behind the scene who pulls the strings. Got a nice table for you, Mr. John Norman. So in conclusion, it's an optical illusion if you think we're the weaker race. Does that remind you of Skylar in the bar? Skylar. Stronger, remember her number? Stronger than Skylar in Goodwill Hunting meant stronger than. So it's an optical illusion. Listen to what she says right here. So in conclusion, it's an optical illusion if you think that we're the weaker race. So in conclusion, it's an optical illusion if you think we're the weaker race. Men got the muscle, but the ladies got the hustle and the truth is scary. Men got the muscle, but the women got the, but the ladies got the hustle. You know what the hustle is? Sex. And the truth is staring in your face. The mystery of everything is solved. I can apply this now all day long. Just repetitively. It's gone over a point that I'm almost not comfortable with. I'm not kidding. It's gotten to a point to where 
I can see so far beyond what this world is that I'm in a world I don't even belong to. I don't even belong here. It's not, I'm a foreigner. I'm a wide awake sojourner here. So now, let me give you guys a little bit of do your do your own video watching. Let me show you two videos to watch. Everything I've shown you now, just apply just what I've shown you. Watch this. Let me show you a couple vids to watch. So she's going to give that loving man a sting, the sting of death. Now, let me show you a couple of videos that you really should go watch. If you want to see just how obvious things are now, you want to see just how obvious, I won't even have to break them down for you. Go watch Katy Perry, Bon Appetit, and then watch K Katy Perry, Wide Awake. Just remember, everything's about a mirror reflection. There's a good you and there's a bad you. There's a double you. Okay, so I'm a little like sedate. I've been crunching this all day long, and it's it's 1:09 a.m. I'm really tired. Sorry, it's not, I'm sorry I'm not all spunky, but I'm just exhausted. But I wanted to document all this because this is just this is just what the Lord revealed today. I mean, this is going over the top, just like Pink Floyd. I mean, I, I when I realized what what uh. <laughs> what that song was saying and not never having understood it but having listened to it and even playing it on the guitar and i've known that song for years it's like the bible explained it all i was like you can't even think this up let me show you one one last set of lyrics that uh, if you're going to do the pink floyd thing you should really so and then it says did you did you exchange? Cold comfort for change. Did you exchange a lead role in a cage? Well, hang on. I, I want to go back to this part. Hang on one sec. A smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? Hang on one second. Guys, I just needed to turn the volume down real quick. So, here we go. So, do you think you can tell? Okay, let me just get to here. Cold comfort for change. Did you exchange a walk-on part in the war for a lead role in a cage? That's exactly true. That's exactly right. So everything's originates from a spiritual source. Little, you know, little Naz shoes, little Naz hugging the devil, embracing the devil and becoming the devil. That's true. When you embrace the devil and you say you can have this, uh, you can have this temple, then you become the devil. When you surrender to Christ and you say, you can have this temple, I'm guilty as charged, I deserve my punishment, I deserve to go to hell, I'm sorry, forgive me, You can. I surrender this temple freely and willing you to you. So you're inviting the Holy Spirit to occupy you fully, you're no longer, you're no longer want to be this. You know what? You're asking Jesus to come in and take over your temple and to fold you and make you single because you're duplicitous and you just need to be put back as one. Why do you think it was crucified between two different guys? Do you understand? This is the mystery of the Bible, and this is just using their own stuff against them. A movie called Goodwill Hunting, for God's sakes. I mean, that's just insane. I'm sorry I'm not a little more peppy to deliver this but i may just 
repackage this information again because this is beyond profound. The thing with Lilith and what that means in Isaiah 34, 14, what the singleness of Christ means, folded into being single. I mean, that's just impossible with the same exact thing being in goodwill hunting. That's just not even possible. So anyway, I can I can show you the same thing now over and over and over and over. In all kinds of movies, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's literally almost, it's so pervasive that you have to be set apart from it just to be able to see it. That's what that's what it means in Christianity. We've been set apart. We've been taken out of the forest and put in a big field so you can look back at the forest and see what you were part of, but you can't see it when you're in it. And the only way to get out of it is to make your appeal to Christ, admit your guilt, you're guilty. You have a Bluetooth line to the pit to a insect, a worm that's feeding off you. Listen to Beak Floyd about the worms they entered his brain. Listen to the whole Wall album and freak out. I mean, it is mind-boggling. I listened to the whole thing and I was just like, it's unbelievable. I have become comfortably numb. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. We all become comfortably numb. It's exactly what happens. So anyway, all right, guys, I love you. I'm not going to belabor the point anymore, but what I will probably do is I will sit here with this information and try and do just a, a short little repackage, just bullet points. But this was revealed to me today, and I'm trying just to, just something's happening to Jonathan Kleck that's beyond my 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 brain. I've been called to do another thing like when the Lord told me to go to the desert and skydive into the desert. He's He's got another one on the slate for me. I just, I'm not at liberty to reveal it yet. So I'm coming into this new beyond understanding. It's a little bit, I don't know how to describe it. It's like changing in a way that's like, oh my goodness, I don't, this is so overwhelming just to be able to handle it might be just, I just, I can't explain it. Anyway, okay. I just, I love you guys. I'll give you everything the Lord gets me, everything he gives to me. I'll, I'll try and do my best to give you as much of it as I can with the time that I have. And by the way, thank you for supporting the people that support this ministry. And I want to, I want to look you in the eye, the people that have supported this ministry. Y'all are responsible for this. Y'all are responsible for this getting out. Y'all have helped allow me to be able to sit and read the scriptures and pray and have the Lord reveal these things to me and give me the time to make these folders. It is a ton of work to do this, guys. It doesn't just happen. It 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 is exhausting. And the people that have supported this ministry, by the way, thank you so much for the hat, Tammy and Cammie. And the people that have, you know, just prayed and sent a note and kindness to keep me going because I get so much hatred. I get a lot of hatred, guys. The, the Bible says if they hated me, they'll hate you. I am hated by a lot of people, which is fine. If I wasn't hated, I'd be worried. But anyway, I, I'm so grateful because because of what y'all have done, it's allowed me to do this. Look at what's been revealed here. This is just mind boggling. All right. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm super exhausted, guys. I got to I got to bail out and turn around and grab my bear. Quick bear hug. Okay, guys, group hug. And what I'm going to start doing is I I have another setup with uh you know in, in uh, another location and I have the same setup and I'm going to I'm going to move to that also because I have a a like a dry erase board and I can kind of like a teacher, you know, in a, in a college class, I can write on a dry erase board and show you guys. So you have uh, a more concrete understanding of their symbology, knocking off the symbology and the Lord teaching me how they communicate alphanumerically was tantamount in destroying their system. Their system is so well camouflaged that that was the problem. 
and then the Lord, the Lord himself is the one that taught me how to read the Bible. Like I, like I show you, he told me, this is how I want you to read the Bible from now on. And I was just like, you're kidding. I mean, I, do you know how much work that's going to be? I was like, you idiot. And the Lord was trying to give me the greatest gift he could have given me was understanding the word. Understanding the word is understanding the Lord. Look what just got opened up in this video. Just try and understand what just got handed to you. All glory to God. All right. For those of y'all that have prayed for me, that have supported this ministry and, and made it uh, doable, um, y'all are responsible for this getting out. Y'all are, y'all are hugely responsible because, you know, I've done a whole lot of work. I've worked really hard, did a whole lot of construction to get things done. And then, you know, when you're exhausted, it's not as easy to get stuff done. It's not. And that's when the Lord told me, I want you on the radio. And he told me to literally walk away from construction. I was terrified. I was like, how am I going to do anything? And the Lord told me, trust me. And he told me I could not monetize, not one dime, not one penny. I could not accept money for one book. I've had publishing offers I had to say no to. I've had offers to get paid for radio stuff I had to say no to. Uh, monetization on YouTube I had to say no to. I am not monetized. I do not preach for filthy lucre's sake. I preach for your well-being and for the well-being of everybody. I want everyone to get saved. And I'm willing to lay down my life so everyone can get this. And... The Lord knows my heart, so he's used jaw to help me do this. So anyway, I appreciate it. Y'all, I'm going to, I'll give you, you know, I'll give you guys one plug on this. If anyone wants to help, anybody wants to help this ministry, let me show you what you can do. You can go, if anybody, and I, I want you to see something. Look right here. Do y'all see, you know, uh... GoFundMe, PayPal stuff. You know how people list all that stuff on their YouTube channels? You go to people's YouTube channels and they just have all these different ways to pay them. Do you see any of that? Have you ever seen any of that on my channel? Ever? The answer is no. You haven't. Go to these people that do just some random crap videos and they'll, they're, you know, here's how you can pay me and support me. It's like, I don't. Every now and then I'll show people this would be a good time to support the ministry. PayPal at jk at jonathanclick.com. That's all we have right here and a P.O. box. That's it. And that, and I only do this occasionally because the Lord told me that's the way I want you to do it. P.O. box 192819 uh, San Antonio, Texas, 78209. Sorry, I got dropped my bear here. Okay, guys, yeah, sorry, dropped that. 91281, San Antonio, Texas, 78209. So if any of y'all are led and you want to help out, great. I'm going to, it looks like I'm going on a serious roll here because the Lord is pouring out more data on a daily basis than I can handle. So that means I can't just take it and put it off to the side because so much more keeps coming out that the only way for me to do this is when I get it just to go run, put it out as quickly as I can and just keep shoving it out because if it comes in and then more comes in, what came in the day before I have to put off to the side because I just can't do videos that fast. I still have to get up and breathe and, and you know, do some stuff during a, a normal day. It's uh, So anyway, there is, if you want to support the ministry, you can send a card or something to that, that address or PayPal, jk at jonathanclick.com. And that's it. And I'm not, only occasionally will I even mention it. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> That's so freaking crazy. Can y'all believe that Goodwill Hunting has that much stuff in it? Can you believe it? Her name, 
her phone number, the number on the door, the star on the door, the number on the mailbox, folding open a, a letter. It's all in the Bible. And the Lord led me to that today. And that's been going on just nonstop now. All right. And I will give you everything I can give you. I will stay up till 1.23 a.m. recording. I'll be up for two more hours just getting this on YouTube. I still have to render this and then get it up and then load it up. And then I'll come in and make sure it's up. Then I'll go to bed. And I don't sleep late either. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I love you in Christ. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys, listen, you know, I need to do a video where we just talk. I, I'd like to do a video where I just talk to you. I want to just, you know, hang out where we just talk. And I want to talk to you about getting saved. A lot of people have questions. Do I have to be baptized? That kind of stuff. I need to have just a talk with everybody. I And answer some of the questions I read, you know, in the comments. How do I know that I'm saved? Those kind of questions. The way you know is if you've been turned up, you can see. And so... I'll go through the scriptures that you that say you will know. The word is hinosko. And in the Bible, it tells you you will know. Not that you might think that you're saved. You It means to know absolutely. So when you know you're saved, you don't go, oh, well, I think I'm saved. I, I feel like I am. You know you're saved. You're like, oh, my God, I got converted. And you'll be like, uh, you'll be like, oh my God, the bombings are on the money. I'm, what the heck's going on? The Vatican's a freaking snake. Uh, it's crazy. Male and female reproductive organs are the largest altar in the world. Why would they be the largest altar? Why would the male and female reproductive systems be the largest altar in the world? Well, what's Genesis 1 say? Let us create man in our image. Who's us? Oh, that race of beings, whoever that is. Well, it, uh, it also says it as an idol. The Lord God doesn't create idols, but if angels left heaven and created all this mighty system, that's creating idols. So see, I need to have that kind of a talk with you where I just talk like I'm talking now and just get down to some bare facts and just logic and say, guys, look at this. And then, you know, the kind of talk I'm having right now, I need to have this kind of talk with you. And then do I have to be baptized? People say I have to be baptized or I can't go to heaven. B.S. The guy on the cross next to Jesus, he didn't get baptized. And he said, today you'll be with me in paradise. But baptism is a good thing because baptism is your outward expression to the world that you identify yourself as a believer and a follower of Christ. And Jesus said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father in heaven. And it's a good way for you to know yourself that you have stood before a group of people and said, Jesus is my Savior, and I am not ashamed of him. And then that puts it to rest in your own heart. So baptism is a good thing. And, you know, you can go get baptized, you know, in any church. It doesn't matter. Don't go to a Catholic church. <laughs> it's like, you know, I went to a place called Resur Resurrection Baptist Church. The Lord sent me over there. He said, this is where I want you to go. Go. And I went over there and just said, hey, I need you guys to baptize me. You know, that was in like 2006, maybe. I don't know, maybe 2005. Anyway, but the Lord told me, I want you to go get baptized. I'm like, okay, I went and did it. And so, you know, these kind of questions, because I read the comments and I can see a lot of people haven't read their Bibles. And, you know, you don't need to start at the beginning of the Bible and read Genesis and all that stuff. Go to the New Testament. Just read the New Testament. Because the New Testament is the new covenant that Jesus made with us. Don't worry about all the Old Testament stuff. Just start with the New Testament and start reading every day. Read one chapter. It takes 10 minutes. That's it. But start getting the Bible under your belt. I start reading these questions. I'm like, have you even read any of the Bible yet? Or do you just go watch, you know, some of these nonsense channels like none? I see people plugging nine Narnia in my. I'm like, nine Narnia? Or she predicted the rapture like a dozen times and was wrong. And she, oh, if you take this date and you have this and this, it's crazy. I'm like, so if. If you're trying to go to different YouTube channels to get your biblical information, that's crazy. Go to the Bible. Go to the Bible yourself. Don't be lazy. 
Jesus said, when you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. And so, you know, everyone's like, oh, I just want someone to spoon feed me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be here to give you everything I got. And we're starting this other platform on Brighton. We've already started it. I'll give you the link in the next video. I have it. But right now, I'm just too overloaded, too tired. But I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you. And then I'm going to do this beginner series. So, you know, it's a step-by-step, -step, super simple. This is the stuff you need to know. Like the stuff I'm showing you now, this is PhD level stuff. This is the kind of stuff that just slams it all home that no one can argue with, you know, what's been shown to me and what the Lord God has taught me. It's not arguable. I'm giving everybody physical proof using their own stuff against them. It's just not possible. You can't show people that in a movie called I, Robot, where a detective, uh, Will Smith, his badge number means to arrest and, to, you know, arrest and capture in the Bible. Arrest, apprehend, and, and capture. That's what it means in the Bible, his badge number. It takes place in 2035, which means insurrection and takeover. That's what the whole movie's about. I mean, you know, it's like, what? Yeah, that's insane. What I just showed you, Goodwill Hunting, the girl's phone number, that's impossible. The number on the door with Robin Williams, that's impossible. Those numbers are in the Bible. Okay, so the Lord has allowed me to crack their code, their code of communication, the serpent slithery, you know, secret communication method by using the Bible because... They're claiming to be God, the Almighty. They're not the Almighty. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. I'm a threat, big time. Okay, anyway, so the kind of talk I'm having right now, I need to have one of these kind of talks with all y'all that, you know, until I just blah, I just throw everything out at you. You know, where we talk about all these different concepts, I'll write down a list of questions that I see people asking and I'll put them off to the side and I'll try and address all that stuff for you guys. But man, we're getting close, guys. The end of the world's coming. I am an end of the world harbinger because the satanic race is taking over the host body system. Think of it like that. There's a host body system. There's a satanic race and there's an angelic race. The, san the, the serpent race, the satanic race, takes over the host body system in the end of the world. That's what the Bible's about. That's what's going on. Read Revelation. <laughs> and then when that's happening, because they're taking over the whole host body system, the Lord God's going to pour out all his plagues on them. Okay, here's your earth. Here you go. Here's what you get. That's what this is all about. That's my position. I'm a harbinger. Ding, 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 ding. The end of the world's here. So, you know, like Noah, either you believe it or you don't. And so I've given you so much data, so much supernatural information that, you know, you should get this. Anyone that plugs many fish here, I mean, some nine and stuff like that, I'll block you. And the reason is... You'll be leading other people. If your comments up there and, and somebody reads your comment, they go to that channel, that's potentially leading somebody to the pit. So I got to block you. So I don't, I don't tolerate it. I'm not here to hear about somebody else that's got some cool channel. Go over there then. I'm here to teach you what the Lord God's shown me, okay? So, and I'm very dogmatic about what the Lord's shown me. It's one thing and one thing only. The truth. 100% no lying. For those of y'all that have been around a long, a long time, boy, has it panned out now, hasn't it? Aren't you glad you stayed around? <laughs> let me let me show you one more thing before we go. Okay, one more thing. I want I want to show you a lot of people like, where do I start? I think I have over 2,500 videos, so that's a good question. But let me show you something on my channel. You see this video, You Are Exiles? Okay. If you start at the beginning of the video, it might be it might be a little too much for you uh, to to wrap your brain around because the way I did it, the way I did it, let's see. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Watchful. 
your adversary the devil okay so the way i started this whole thing i think i think for like the first 10 minutes or so i did this intro just to kind of like grab everybody's minds like what does what's going on the narration in the back of this video that's narrating i'm using commercials from like the vodka commercials of uh, the smirnoff commercial and i've avocados from mexico and these commercials that totally blatantly are in your face so if you watch the first 10 minutes of this it might confuse you because you weren't around for for the beginning of all this stuff so it might throw you a curveball but let's see if you get past the intro and then you go re-watch it then you'll go oh my gosh i want to show you something right now watch this let's see if it's here let me see straight to the mind now let's start with the Bible. John chapter 8. Then Jesus again. Hang on one second. Let me find. I want to find this for you real quick. Our owners. Our owners. They have us. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, I didn't I didn't realize I had my my audio off. Sorry about that. Listen. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired. Watch. So, in this part, in this part of the video right here like at the 901 mark, if you just look at this and you see that this is their this is the narration from the movie called They Live and it's a scene from They Live and the cops are pulling up and the the black preacher guy is just pouring it out about, you know, they're perched on top of you from from birth till death, feeding off us, which is true. Well, I replaced the cop car from the movie with an actual cop car from Texas, and I can show you this to you over and over and over again. Let me show you what's on an actual police car. Watch this. Watch. They control us. You see right there, do you know what you're looking at on a police car? Do you know what this is? This is a serpent bean. That's the eye. That's the eye. This is the mouth. Now, right here in the dead center, this is this is like kind of like the pineal gland. It is like the antenna receiving the signal. That's on a cop car. That is a serpent bean. Look at the look at the badge. Look at this. That's an eye, that's an eye, and that's a mouth. And this thing that's supposed to be the capital of Texas, that is really an antenna receiving the signal. That's how I show you how they hide all this stuff in the movies. Because the guys directing the movies are no different than that that symbol on the cop car. They're receiving a spiritual signal that's running what they're doing. I mean, do you understand that that's a police car with a serpent bean that's the badge on the car? Do you understand what you're looking at here? So anyway, so if you watch, you are exiles, but you start right about here, watch. Let's see, let me see. Single question I, I put this life all about girlfriends I wanted whatever and I found out we, where did we come from okay okay right here okay if you start watching it about the 933 mark there's certain questions that right there at the 936 mark. So if, if you don't know what to watch in mine, start with the DVD. You are exiles, but start it, start it at the, let's see, start it at the nine. Yeah, about 935, whatever, where I start talking. Go through the intro and start at the 935 mark. Then watch the whole DVD. 
then go back and rewatch it and you will freak out. And I have the basics in there for if you're a newbie and you haven't seen this stuff. And even if you've been here, you should go rewatch it now. Go rewatch the UR Exiles with what I'm showing you nowadays and you're going to freak out. It's all been perfect. It's all totally correct. And you can't even think up the kind of data that I'm showing you. But anyway, that's a good place to start. That's one thing I wanted to bring up right now. So anyway, you are exiles. Let me show you where it is. Let me show you how to get there. I've been asked since the dawn of civilization. People have asked, who are we? Where do we come from? Why are we here? What's the meaning of life? What's it all about? I asked those same questions myself in 2002 as I stood in my room. Okay, so I had a little, a little glitch there for a second. Okay, so anyway, so this is a good place to start. Uh, if you want to, you know, you want to try and, you know, get in on what's going on and you, you haven't been around. But start after the intro, which is at about the nine minute, uh, you know, 35 second mark. You'll figure it out. I start talking anyway. And then start there and that's it that's a just a good place to begin and then i want to tell i want to tell the folks that have you know helped this ministry guys y'all are the reason i was able to do this and you're the reason all these other people got helped because i was able to spend the time crunching this data and organizing it putting it together i mean it's right now it's 1 45 a.m and i mean i put a lot of effort into First, receiving the data can be just overwhelming. I can't even explain it. It's exhausting sometimes. And then I put it together. Then I have to put it in folders. Then I have to do codec checks and then see what I can use and what I'll get a violation from YouTube and then put it, you know, on a desktop and then come and deliver it. Then I have to render it, stay up and load it up. And I have so much data coming in right now that, I mean, it's coming in so fast that, I mean... I have, I, I send myself emails. <laughs> I literally, I, I have all this data and I'll send myself an email like I got to get to this and then more comes in. I can't tell you how many emails I've sent to myself in the past two weeks. It's crazy. The information is just rolling like it's the, the floodgate is broken. Look at what y'all are looking at. Good will hunting. The girl's phone number what it means, her name, what it means. Just like the, the commercial, uh, the Bud Light commercial with, hi, I'm Kelly, you know, female warrior. Hey, if I give you this, are you up for, for whatever happens? Uh, three seconds ago, remember three, three seconds ago, Ian was given a choice. Ian, gift from God, three seconds, angel of the bottomless pit, choice, Kelly, female warrior. Do you see how it's all the same now? Oh my gosh, so now the floodgates are open and the Lord is just leading me everywhere in the Bible, taking down these, just taking down the strongholds of the devil. So you folks, and I want you to know, God bless you that have helped me and have helped this ministry because without you guys and the ability to, you know, have the time to do this, if I was out hammering it all day long and then tr I couldn't do all this, there's just no way, it's too much. But the Lord's the one that told me, trust me, do the stuff and I'll take care of you. So he's been using the people that are part of this. Y'all, if y'all are supporting it, you're, you're part of it. You're part of the ministry that's doing this. So God blesses everybody with something. And again, I want to be very clear. I never want anyone ever to support this ministry if it's financially difficult for you. I don't want you to do that because I don't want anyone to be hurting at all. Not God always gets things done here. Always. So, you know, if you can, great. If you can't, don't ever, don't even think twice about it. Pray. Drop me a little card. I like getting little cards. I like, I like notes. Those are great. Um, anyway, so it's time to crack it open, man. This, this thing is, this thing's going to go full tilt here real quick. Guys, the end of the world's here. I know for those of y'all that know, we, you know, it's here and we're in the, the final throes and God's going to let 
the kingdom get turned over to Satan. That's what the end of the Bible is all about. This is what the Bible has been about the whole time. The two different races, the satanic race against God's race. And it's within the host body system. And that's where the war is fought out. And now we're getting to the end of the cycle. And the whole thing is imploding. And you can see it imploding on a daily basis around the entire world. Anyway, so I plan on being here just as diligently as I can. And I mean, guys, I, I can't tell you what I'm willing to do to just get you all this information. I mean, I'm willing to push myself to a point that's almost ridiculous and I'll do what I can. All right. Anyway, I love you guys. And, uh, thanks for everything. Thanks for the hats, by the way, Cammy and Tammy. And, uh, that's awesome. Cool hat, huh? Yeah. Anyway, so I want to, and I want to have a talk where we just talk, where I just talk to you and say, guys, this is what, you know, baptism, uh, you know, a lot of these things that people have asked about. I just need to have a talk, not where I'm delivering information, where I just talk to you. Like, these are the questions I'm seeing out there and, you know, in the comment section. And these are the things I'd like for y'all to know. But uh, one thing you should do for sure, if you haven't already done it, uh, go to my channel, to the main page, watch You Are Exiles, but start it, it, you know, after the intro, but start it after the intro and just uh, watch the whole thing and then go back and watch the intro and watch part one again. And that'll give you a pretty solid, you know, footing because it's going to roll out fast now. All right, guys, I love you. I am whooped. <laughs> Peace and grace. All right, guys, I love you, and uh, I'll be I'll be at it as much as I can. I'll show you the new Brighteon thing on my next video. I'm just too pooped to pull up all the information right now and go through it. Okay, I love you guys. Good night.